Uh, hello everyone, this is Sumeric again, and today I'm going to play a little ways into a uh, Sun Paladin, the new class, uh, the new Divine class that we got with Beta 3. Um, I, I went on easy mode. Um, I have no idea why. I guess I just wanted it to be easier. I'm putting some talents in Chant of Fortitude. gives you that really cool spell effect that you have there. It's supposed to give you more uh, physical and spell resist, and it also does a little bit of damage. I put my uh, talent points. I don't really know how to what to do with talent points on a Sun Paladin because you need strength and dex to hit things, um, but you also need the magic stat to uh, to fuel your spell. So I'm not sure what what order uh, things should be going in and how high I should be putting things in. Um, but as you can see, I'm using that that little floor spell is the uh, searing light, um, and I put a I put two points into it right now, um, and I'm also putting it into weapon um, advancement too. I think I'm gonna go. To, I don't remember how high I go in here. I realized um, just. Uh, from from something that I think Shub said on the forums that you don't have to do the first two zones. I don't know why I had it in my head that you do. Um, you don't have to do anything except for Toll Falas. So uh, why bother with that that first dungeon? I'm in Sewell. I mean, it's a terrible place to to be with uh, when you're low level. So I'm I'm just not I'm just going to ignore that. And then obviously the troll fells are okay, um, but you get better experience over here in the old forest, and you can still do it even as a probably as a level one. You can definitely do it as a level two uh, Sun Paladin, as, as I'm showing here. Um, anyway, uh, Searing Light gives you positive energy, and then um, that fuels your weapon, weapon of light. I decided to take Bumble hit it there, um, looking, at around, looking around at different things. Uh, and so you don't need to worry about uh, your positive energy. It drains over time. You don't have to worry about it draining out completely because it only checks to see if you've got positive energy uh, when you hit something. And so all you have to do is make sure you do a searing light at the beginning of the battle. And you probably want to do that anyway because it's kind of a dot on a square, damage over time on a square. Uh, the Sun Paladins are a really cool uh, class. It's a really cool idea to have a something that that is fueled uh, a resource that's fueled by one of your abilities and and that slowly drains over time uh, it's just a really cool idea uh, but I have I, I haven't been able to play very far with the paladin I think uh, I've gone up to about level six and then I die uh, most of the time and I've only tried it a couple of times um, I, I decided to use a dunadan um, for the regen uh, power uh, and I, I really love the spell effects that uh, that we've been getting lately. Um, I've got up to level four, and I, I don't think that there's any reason, like I said, to go into the the first two dungeons. That club I, I won't be able to use for a long, long time, if ever, on this character because of the strength requirement and plus it's two-handed and since I'm using shield skills I, I'm not going to use it anyway so there's no reason no reason to go in there at all uh, it seems like combat a lot of this is a lot of this is damage over time or passive from the shields the the later shields look pretty interesting especially the last one that gives you extra uh, holy damage or divine damage whatever it is um, I'm not sure about this chant of the fortress. I don't see, I don't understand what the f the percentage increase versus the other the solid number increase. I'm I'm not sure what's being up to there or not. Uh, martyrdom looks or martyr or martyrdom looks very interesting uh, as a skill as well. That if they damage, they kind of damage themselves, and that's that's a pretty cool idea too. It would be. Um, kind of neat to have a healing spell and I'm not sure if, if you gain access to that from the the locked divine um, talent tree that, that's there. Um, as you can see, you can do pretty well um, as, as a Sun Paladin. Uh, to unlock them you have to, and this is huge spoilers, you have to beat the 
the the game like you used to but then there's also a another place that you can go you can go to Moria and once you go to Moria um, which by the way it seems like it's really empty right now and it's way too big the, the levels are way too big in there um, and it's not very exciting the way I the the way that I did it um, Tolfalos was all uh, friendly to, towards me uh, for some reason there's there's a glitch in this this beta and uh, so are the orcs so the Moria was really boring it just had some trolls that were coming after me but that was it um, and, but um, and then then you get into the eastern continent uh, which is really empty right now. There's just one place, and it looks like Bree. But when you get there, you um, you get a quest to go clear out some spiders, and that's a pretty cool area. It looks really cool. It looks kind of spider webby. The level does uh, some really really nasty spiders in there. Um, and uh, once you do that, then then that's all you can do for the game. And and I didn't see. I don't remember seeing it. Uh, you've unlocked the Sun Paladin dialogue, but I, I may have just missed it. Um, but th but then, then you can play as Sun Paladins. Uh, it would be kind of cool to have some kind of uh, healing spell as a Paladin, too, where you could heal yourself. Or that would just automatically heal you, so you don't have to target it. It's non-targetable heal, heal self or whatever. Uh... And I'm finding out that no, you can't wear that steel armor. You have to up your strength quite a bit more. And uh, I think here, yep, I used a talent instead of the. There, there are my stats, and uh, I'll talk to you later.